Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you for joining me today. It's Friday, June 4th. I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, I wanted to say thank you for everybody who has entered my uh, 3000 subscriber giveaway. I will link that post down below if you haven't seen it yet. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be fun. So let's get into this week's haul. I've got a lot of stuff this week, so let's get right into it and I'll show you, show you everything I got. I went to Michael's on Wednesday because they have this week, their deal is buy one hot hot buy item and you get two for free and the Michaels right by me did not have like the one item I wanted so I went a little bit further away so it was fine this was um one of the additional items I got this is a spring glitter pad I'm sure you guys have seen it before but it's got some beautiful glitters looks like four of each there's pink and orange really pretty soft orange yellow kind of like a bright goldy yellow for those and I really love this one it's like a mint seafoam green really pretty oops so there's four of those and then it's pretty blue it's got a little bit of green to it really really nice they had shimmers like this too that I almost got but I, but I ended up getting like a, a sticker book instead and that was okay and then there is this lavender color which I also thought was beautiful and I think that is it yeah so that was the first hot buy pad I got the one that I really wanted to get was this one called lunchbox friends and it's just so adorable I kind of wish it was a six by six instead because this the format is really large of this like if you're doing um, a full-size scrapbook this would be perfect for you otherwise there's a lot of um, cutting apart but I think it's so cute so let's just take a look this s'mores page and it's got like it looks like broccoli trees to me um, it's just adorable so there's two of those and then this page has eggs but the white part is glittered and there are a few faces interspersed throughout so just totally adorable here's one of those huge pages which I have no idea what to do with but weekend vibes it's so cute that cereal bowl love it and then here are some cut aparts these are easy to work with so that's good so cute couple of those and then here's this one it's like a apple red color with a little apple face in the bottom it'd be cute if you had an apple dye to cut over that and then these are blueberries actually if you could see there's like little um, tops to the blueberries I don't know if you could tell it's kind of blurry huh but like right here come on camera let's focus doesn't want to focus but there's like a little bit of a top to a blueberry and a few have leaves too so that's beautiful and then here's this cute another large format page but adorable I mean gotta think of something to do with that and then there's a little bowl of soup and some milk cartons with some glittered accents on it and, oh, isn't that so cute you guys and here are some lockers with some happy uh, foods. There's pineapple and an apple and a waffle with backpacks. <laughs> Who comes up with this stuff? And then here's a slice of pizza with pizza toppings going all around. And then this looks like a giant piece of toast with a little face on it. And then here are some Lunchbox Pals. I don't know, why is the tomato so sad? Everybody else is happy. Hmm and oh that's so cute look it's like a strawberry jam with a little strawberry on top totally adorable and there's glitter here too on the white part that's glittered and some more glitter in the white here on this stripe good like carnival kind of page here are some strips it's always snack time in my heart yes i feel that always and then this one what is this? Is this like a, the inside of a, inside of a lunchbox or something? I guess so. And I would probably use just like the paper in here for something. Here are some sprinkles, and every once in a while you see a little little guy sprinkle. Why isn't my phone focusing? Come on, man! All right. 
So anyway, there's that one. And we have this large layout page cookie with one tooth sitting on a glass of milk. There's a chocolate bar. What is happening in this page? <laughs> I don't know. I guess you can make a story out of that, right? And then we, oh, look at this. Bananas. So cute. Totally adorable. And then you have a waffle winking at you with some stripes and some letters and symbols. And more cutter parts. Got a frown. Turn up upside down. Don't waffle. You've got this. Best time of the day. Take a break. Laugh some more. Very cute. And then this is like, I thought it was lockers, but I think it's just like different color notebook papers. And that's it. So isn't that cute? Yeah, my Michaels didn't have this one. And when I looked, oops, sorry, bought my tripod. When I looked on the app, it said it was not available in my store. So I had to go a little bit further to get it. And then for my uh, part of the three, I got this sticker book. This is the animal sticker book. My Michaels did not have this one either, but it's so cute. I don't usually buy their sticker books, but I needed some flat stickers and I really like all the different kinds of animals on here. Um, let's focus please camera because you really need to focus. All right, so there are some dogs. Hold on, I'm gonna try and reset my focus. Okay, hopefully this is better. But um, this is the dog page. And there's another page of dog faces. Is it the dogs? Yeah. Oh, there's a cat. Okay. A few cats snuck in there too. I thought it was just dogs. And then we have birds. Really pretty birds. I just, I really like flat stickers for packaging. So and look at the otters. I love how they like hold their babies when they're sleeping on their backs. It's so cute. Right? Aren't otters adorable? And then you have some circus animals. Do they still have animals at the circus? I don't know, but these are a uh, flashback anyway. Look at that bear on a uh, unicycle. And there's some gold foiling here. Here are some little um, icon stickers, I guess. Good for planners, I guess. I don't know. And then we have pandas. Those are really cute. Pandas with bamboo, playing with balls. And then we have some farm animals. These are so sweet. I love the little face on the pig. Totally cute. All right, this is like a different kind of style for Michaels, I think. These faces, they look kind of kawaii. Cute little lambs. And then we have some birthday animals. Look at that one on the bottom. That's one big sticker. So cute, right? You can make a whole card around that. And there's like a smaller version of that one. Very, very cute. Oh, that's a smaller version. And then we have these. These are like, hmm, there's dragons. Maybe these are supposed to be like Chinese themed. Not quite sure with the red. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure though. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then there are some beautiful butterflies, really pretty colors, a lot of gold foiling, and some North Pole kind of animals, penguins and polar bears and walruses, whales. And then these are totally kawaii. Really cute. Trying to go a little fast because I have a lot to show you guys. And here are some sea creatures, kind of watercolored. And then some jungle kind of animals, I think. I don't know. These kind of animals, giraffes, tigers. And then we have some bunnies. Oh, they're so cute. Look at that one sitting on a mushroom. Oh, and there's a whole bunch on this one. Adorable. Okay, and then we have, let's see, vultures and camels, maybe desert type animals. Oops, spiders and koalas oh these are cute and dinosaurs a lot of different bears look at this one he's like blowing a raspberry 
There's one eating some honey. There's one with the honey pot on his head or back of his neck. And oh, that's beautiful. Look at the gold foiling on these deer. So pretty. So these are all $19.99 normally, but buy one, get two free. I haven't seen the $4.99 hot buy sale in a long time. Have you guys? Oh, look at the little hedgehog on his back. That's so cute. These are like forest animals. And then we have a Yeti and unicorn. I guess these are like fantasy kind of animals. And there's a bunny with antlers. Yep, that's a new one. I don't know what that is. Fox with a crazy tail. Okay. And then we have some birds, tropical birds and turtles. And ooh, night animals. Snakes and bats and rats and owls. Yep. So that's the animal hot by sticker pad. I thought that was so cute, right? And then I got a few other things while I was there. Um, these were on clearance. This one was a dollar and this one was 50 cents. You could always use white pom-poms, so I picked those up. And I got these beads too. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen these before. I haven't. They're in the new like kids crafting section. And these are pretty, they're like translucent beads and the insides have different colors like yellow and blue and peach, pink. So these were, I think they were on sale or I used a coupon. Either way, I did not pay full price. And then I got this yarn that I thought was beautiful. It's, I saw somebody show this yarn on Instagram, I believe. And I really, I have to write down when I see stuff. I think I'm going to remember and then I don't. So whoever it was who showed this, thank you. I'm really sorry. I forgot who it was, but this was on clearance for $5.99, even though it says $9.99 here. And they had different colors. It's called Flex and it has like these little, um, like flex of other kinds of fiber on the strands. So I think that'll make a really pretty tassel. They didn't have like um, a light pink. They had a darker pink that was pretty. I almost got that instead, but I decided to get the yellow with the different pastels. And there was a gray and like a white color too. I think there were some missing, but that's what I picked up. And then I saw the seed beads. These were like all different pastel colors. They're kind of matte, so I like those those up as well so that's it from michael's and let's move on to joanne's i went there last weekend because they had the um actually wait i got two more things from michael sorry i got two pieces of foam and i don't think i've ever tried their foam before i don't remember seeing it before i, I guess i just never really looked for it but it's 12 by 18 um creatology foam sheet i got a light pink and like a gingerbread cookie color i don't know what it's called but it's like a light brown so anyway that was from michael's too so yeah at joanne's i interrupted myself they had the 10 for two dollars paper last weekend so i got a bunch of ones that i like um this is like it's a pearlized paper it's called uh pearl Yep, just Pearl by American Crafts. And I really like this. I've, I've had like one or two pieces before and I just have a little scrap left. So I picked up three of those. And then I picked up three of these like glittered ones. They're like really textured, like woven paper, as you can see there. This one is called uh, White Gloves. And I've had this before too, and I was running low. So I picked up a few more. I also picked up that one in pink couple of those and this one's called stiletto and then there was this like honey gold color too I thought was really pretty this one is called string of pearls and then I just saw this paper I think I probably I pr I've probably had this before but this is called robin and this is by Doris beautiful beautiful color got a couple of those and I think I got another one too, but I've already like used it for a project, but you get the idea. I always get these kind of colors. So I got those and then I had a 50% off coupon. So I picked this up, Stretch Magic. This is the one millimeter uh, elastic cord for bracelets. 
my niece was here over the weekend and she and I made a ton of bracelets together. So I was running low on this. So I picked up some more. It was fun. She, she was having such a good time. Um, hi, Abby, if you're watching. She made some for her friends and she said they really liked them when she got home. So that was good. All right. I got some beads that were 60% off. I thought these were beautiful. They're like, um, they're glass beads and they look kind of silvered underneath, but they're kind of like distress painted with turquoise and hot pink. So I picked up that strand. I thought that would be really pretty in a bracelet. And then I realized when Abby was here that I had very little purple beads. So I got this trio, no, quadruple strand of purple beads, four different sizes, and these are glass as well. Um, I don't remember what the original price was. I wish I would print them on the tag. They're just on the little, you know, price tag above the peg. But so I picked those up. She's going to be back here next month. So I will be ready to make some more bracelets or we might make some other things as well. And I think that was it from Joanne. So let's move on to, oh, well, no, one more piece of paper from Joanne. So I picked this one up as well. This has cute little bees and daisies, and I love like the little flight pattern from the flower that the uh, the bees have. Isn't that cute? So this was just, you know, part of the sale, so I picked that up as well. And then I posted this on an Instagram story when I got them, just because, you know, I wanted to let people know. They have these giant party tubs at Walmart for a dollar, and let me just show you how big they are. They're called rectangle party tubs and they were on an end cap and it said $2, but I scanned them with my Walmart app and it said they were a dollar. So I picked up four of them. The only thing I don't really like about it is that it's kind of like the side slope down inside, but um, it's so big. I don't really think that'll matter with storage. So I'm thinking of putting like 12 by 12s in here and putting them under my big table that I have. So anyway, for a dollar, I, you know, I figured I would get a few and worry about using them later. So to get four of those, um, I also got a water bottle that I showed on Instagram, but I don't have it right here. That was also a dollar. Okay, so let's go to Etsy. I got a few more things from Sugar Sunrise. I shared them last week. Last week, one of the things I got were these little ice cream cups, and I know a few of you were looking for them, and they uh, Sugar Sunrise had sold out, but I found them on a different store on Etsy, so I will link them down below. Hopefully, they'll still have them. They had a pack of like, I think it was eight or six, um, half pink and half yellow, so I'll link that down below just in case you're looking for them. So anyway, for Sugar Sunrise, I got these ice cream cones. And these would be good for like a mid-size pom-pom, um, I think. So it'll be fun to make little charms with those. So that came in a pack of six. Yeah, six of those. Haven't used them yet, but pick those up. Um, I got these little ice cream cabochons. There's three yellow and three pink, and I just love the little strawberry on them. And they have multicolor uh, sprinkles as well. Let me just take them out. I'm going to show you through the package. Okay, so there's one of them. Isn't that adorable? So well made, right? Oops, sorry. So I will link all these down below. And then I got this pack of little like teddy bear lollipops. And I thought these were so cute. So I just grabbed a pack. Um, how do we open these? Let's see. Okay, and it looks like there's eight of these. So they're just cute little pink teddy bears with a striped stick and a darker pink bow. Totally adorable. I guess you could like draw a face on there if you were brave, but I'll just leave them like that. <laughs> and then I've got these bows, this pack of six. There's two of each color and they're just pretty thin um, resin bows. There's pink with aqua and then there's aqua with pink and yellow with pink. And I used the yellow one already in a project, but I did want to show you those. So again, those will all be linked down below. So that's my sugar sunrise order from this week. Um, anything else from Etsy? I think that's it. 
I did get a few things in from Allie, and this is one of them. These, this was a pack of five of these, and these are little lip gloss containers, but you can cut off the applicator there and just use it for like, um, like to put a sequence mix or something in there, which I did. And um, I'm giving those away as part of my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you want to check out that video, you can see what they look like, all decorated and filled up. And I thought they were super cute. So I'll link those down below too. I also got some charms. I got this pack of little peaches. And they're so cute. They're gold, um, gold tone metal. Oops, let's open you up. And there's a whole bunch of them, but aren't they sweet? They're very light pink, peachy color with a leaf. And they're a good size too. I think they'll be really nice for dangles or planners. And I just love fruit things in the summer. So that one is a pack of 20 and these were a really good price. It was $2.19 for 20 of them. And then from the same seller, I got these strawberries and these are bigger and it was about the same price for 10 of these. It was $2.51, so a little bit more for half the amount, but they're bigger, so. And these are gold tone metal as well and they have a little flower and seeds and the leaf top too. So really cute, right? Figured I'd have to get strawberries when I was getting fruit charms. And the last thing I got from Allie was I saw uh, Tony, uh, who's Craft Perch. Hi, Tony, if you're watching. She got these beautiful ribbons. So I picked them up in these three colors. They have other colors too. I will link these down below. But they're so beautiful. And it comes with five yards of each. Well, each of these is five yards. And it was only $1.89 for five yards. So it's like real green ribbon and it's got a lace trim and there's little hearts on the lace. Isn't that beautiful? So there's white and it feels really nice too. White, pink, and aqua. Like I said, there are other colors. So thank you, Tony, for showing those. Um, yes, I will link those down below. So let's move on to, hmm, let me, all right, this is a two pager, you guys. Okay. Let's move on to a cherry on top. I got an order in from them. It came in last weekend. Um, I picked up this pack of Sizzix Opulent cardstock pack. The last one I got was the mystical one, and this is just all gold, and it comes with gold glitter papers, matte, just like a brushed gold, you know, and it comes with, well, this is brush, brush metal. Matte is, I guess, just like a satin. And then there's a pearl finish and then mirror as well. So it comes with 50 sheets. So one, two, three, four, five, ten of each. Um, I had a hard time finding the gold pack on some websites, but I was glad to see that a cherry on top still had it. Um, there was silver available, some other ones, but gold was like sold out of a few places. So I will I'll link that down below. Sizzix has beautiful quality paper and I was really running low on gold. So I'm glad to get this, all the different kinds of gold too and it's a really pretty gold it's not too yellowy but it's not champagne either it's like to me it's like a perfect gold so i got that and then i got a few uh little embellishments i got these i think these were new they're violet studio which i haven't heard of before and these are teeny tiny little bows um i don't have ribbon that thin thin that looks like about an eighth of an inch wide if i do um yeah, I don't have all these pretty colors, and these are pre-made. There's 30 pieces, so I figured I'd try those out. And aren't those really pretty? I like those colors a lot. And then they also had these tags, these mini tags, and they say, like, best wishes, um, hello summer, what else? Oh, okay, there's some on there. Uh, that one says summer something, lazy days with love just for you. So, you know, nice to have pre-made tags just to like add on to a project when you need something really quick for the summer. So yeah, so I got those. And then I got some loose papers. Um, I saw Erica, Scrap Diva 29, she showed 
this new collection, which I'll get to that's at the bottom of my stack, but I did get some other papers. I got this one, Lawn Fawn. It's called Cream Sprinkle and Shine. I've had this one before in other colors. I haven't had the cream before. So it's got really pretty gold foiling on it, and the back is a stripe, but I love the gold dots, so I figured I could use some cream. And then this one is from a new Pink Fresh Studio line, and it's called Happy Blooms. And this paper is Cottage. So it looks like a really pretty wallpaper to me. It's got like mustard and teal and pink. And the back is that pretty plank, plank, pink plaid. <laughs> and the same line, I've got this pretty white with a pink pattern on it. And this one's called Embroidered. And that's the other side of that one. This one's my favorite of that line. This one's called Flower Patch, and it's like a pretty light aqua background with colorful flowers on the front. And the back is a pink plaid. And then this is a line that Erica had gotten. It's called My Candy Girl by Bella Boulevard. And I don't think I've ever ordered anything Bella Boulevard before. But this is really cute. It's like doodlebug cute. This one, this paper is called Sugar Baby. And I just love all the scallops around the hearts. So it's pretty, right? And there's like this chevron pattern on the back. This one is ice cream cones with yellow background. I love the little like heart cherries on those. And the back is really cute stripe. And then here are some strips. Sweet and fresh love, friend, friend, friends, a sweet life. You are the greatest or sweetest thing, sweet as can be. Love those little soda bottles, right? And the back is brown plaid. This would be good for like an ice cream cone project. This one's called Borders. The ice cream one was called Stay Cool. I didn't say that one. Okay, and then this one has all different kinds of really cute animals. It's called Candy Crazy, and it's got unicorns and cats and pigs eating all kinds of sweet treats. Be good for a kid's birthday card or adults. <laughs> and there are some red swirls on the back. And then I got some cut aparts. Life is sweeter when shared with you. Happy birthday. Hello, sweetheart. Remember, sugar and spice and all things nice. This one's called Daily Details. I soda think you're cute. And polka dots. And then this page I thought was so cute. It's just all fizzy pops. Really cute. Looks like Coke bottles. This one's called Bubble Beauty. I like the pink background. And the back of beautiful color stripes. And then there are some chocolate chip cookies with little hearts. This one's called Cookie Dough. And a beautiful plaid on the other side. And then this one is all sorts of donuts. And it's called Not Sharing. That's so cute. <laughs> Love that. And some cute pink sprinkles on the back. Really like the back pages of these. And then we have some cake and sweets, sugar and spice, sweet girl. And some pretty hearts on the back. Totally doodle bug, right? Sweet as sugar. Did I say that? And then the last one is all these sprinkles, and it's called Sprinkled with Love. And I didn't really want the whole collection, but I just really love these papers. So I figured that would be good and I could use some things that I have already to mix and match with that. So that was it from, no, that is not it from a cherry on top. I also got a thing of dyes. I got these. These are a new selection from Lawn Fawn. They're called Hearts and Stars Skinny Tags. And I had seen these on a Lawn Fawn video and they just look so cute the way they put them together. So um, it comes with the one tag that's stitched and it has like a little torn edge and it comes with different sizes of hearts and stars and it comes with two different sizes of reinforcements. So it says that you can use the stars and hearts for embellishments on the tags or just save them for like a confetti mix. So I did make some tags and I wanted to show you. Let me grab them. Okay. I've got 
quite a lot of stuff there, you guys. Okay, here's one. And I stamped it with, uh, this is a new Hero Arts stamp set I got from Joann's I hauled a few weeks ago. Um, just Tammy with Love. And I used some of the starts and stars and reinforcement from that stamp set. And I embossed that, of course. Thought that looked really cute. I could just write my name there. And then this one I also made. I used a sentiment from Tim Holtz and some garden party puppy stickers on some of these. Some of those hearts and stars, reinforcements. And I just backed it with 110 paper. So now I have some um, tags ready to go. This one, I like this one. It says, of course I made it. <laughs> and that's also from Garden Party. Another reinforcement punched out. And then this one says, beautiful day, Garden Party, little bird, some of the hearts. Also from Tim Holtz, a piece of glue. <laughs> so there's that one. And I think I, oops, sorry, sorry. Yep, one more. This one says, this one's a keeper. So I just like that kind of little funny sentiment there. And garden party, little hearts. Right? It's a, it's 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 such a simple die set, but I think you can use it in lots of different ways and it's really good to have in your stash, you know, something you'll reach for lots of different times, I think. All right, so let me move this out of the way and we'll get on with the rest of the haul. Okay, I got a few things from Zulily. I got these pins, and these are by Lori Holt of Be My Bonnet, and they come with little bees and hearts and flowers, and I just thought those were really cute. They'd be cute to add to pin cushions. I also got this We Are Memory Keepers silicone mat, and I have some self-healing mats, but I thought this would be good. It would be better to use like glue on because I could just scrape it off. The self-healing mats kind of it kind of sticks to it. So I also got this 3D Impresslets by Tim Holtz, and this makes these cute little medallions. This one is called Medallion, and it makes two different sizes. Um, I cut a couple out to show you, and this is what they look like. They just, they cut and emboss in one step, like they say. I also made gold. I can't find the smaller gold one, but that's what that looks like. This is that new Sizzix, um one of the papers that I just got. And uh, this is just plain matte aqua paper, so you can see how it looks in different papers. Beautiful, right? Look at those details. I love these impresslets, so pick that up. And then I got a few things from Tonic. I got this one pack of classic cardstock. This one's called Bubblegum Pink. It looks really coral on screen, but it's more of a pink. But uh, it, de it definitely has coral undertones to it, which is nice. And then I got these Dream Drops, and this color is called Love Potion. Dream Drops have like an iridescent um, finish to them, and they're just beautiful. So you can see there's kind of like a little pearlized effect to it. Gorgeous. So I got that. The main reason I ordered from Tonic was to get this, and this was their card making kit, card making collection. I think it is sold out right now. I'll double check. I'll link it down below if it's not, but I'm pretty sure it is. This is the Craft Essential Series 117. It comes with a magazine, a die set, and an extra die set too. So inside this box, it cut, this is the extra die set. And it says, um, Hello Summer. It comes with all these pieces, like a frame for a card, different like carnival dies. I love that Ferris wheel. And there's a roller coaster and banners. I think that's a lighthouse, right? I don't know what that is. Circus tent, some little accessory pieces. So yeah, really, really cute. And then in the separate box, it comes with the magazine. And in the magazine, and, and the die set too, the dies... I'll show that in a second, I guess. But in the magazine, it shows you different products and different ideas to use the die set that it comes with. And it also comes with papers. So I don't think I've ever gotten a tonic magazine before, but the papers are really cute. And I saw um, Rochelle, who is the delightful crafter, she said that the... Um, die the hot air balloon die would cut these out so that was pretty cute 
So the, this is the die set that it comes with. I really and it, and stamps as well. And I like this rooftop stamp set. It says "Fly high, dream big. What if I fall? But oh, dar oh, but darling, darling, what if you fly? Flying by to say hi, best dad. Find your wings." There's a little helicopter, all these little elements, and a cute circle with the clouds on it, rainbow, a banner. That's cute, so you could have a helicopter with the banner trailing behind it, or the hot air balloon. What else is back there? Looks like a spaceship or something. No, just an airplane. And, oh, and there's a stencil, too, with clouds, banner, stars, the sun. So with all these papers and project ideas and the extra die set. I think $19.99 was a really good deal for this. So I did hop on that while I could. So all right guys that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this week's haul and as always the product links will be down below. If you have any questions please let me know and uh, don't forget to enter my 3000 subscriber giveaway. Again I'll link that down below as well. And I hope you have a great weekend. I will, uh, I'll be back. I'm working on some design team stuff. So I've got some really cute projects coming out, I must say. So anyway, I'll be back with them as soon as I'm done. And I will talk to you guys later. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.